welcome to Leap of Vapes. I am Ray, and you know, I, I don't know why you came to this channel. You know, either you're a subscriber and you guys rock, thanks. Hit that subscriber if you're not. Um, or you're here to learn how to step up your game and DIY some Adore e liquid concentrate. Uh, maybe you're here to check out why when you mix up your Adore e liquid concentrate, it doesn't taste exactly like Dawn Mix. Well, I'll give you one one thing. Dawn, Purple Heart, she puts love into each batch, but it's more than love that's in here because you guys all love vaping. So let's go ahead and we're gonna find out why. So you gotta you gotta use the ingredients, the right ingredients. I'm talking about the right BG, the right nicotine, and what Dawn prefers and uses. So when you mix it up, you'll get exactly how Dawn intended this liquid to taste. Let's check those ingredients out. Uh, the first thing is your BG. Your BG can be found at Bulk Apothecary. And here's the site. Um, I'm going to put a link to this in the description like I will with the other products. Um, this is the glycerin. Um, they do have two different types of glycerin on there. You want the one that is... Um, this is kosher bulk food grade glycerin. This is palm derived, so you're going to get that sweet flavor like Dawn uses in her mixes. She uses this exact BG. Now, um, you can get by on the 10 pound, that'll be a gallon. 50 pound, 50 pound size would be 5 gallons. Both of these sizes are the same price for shipping, so um, if you're going to be mixing a lot, Maybe you might want to go with the 50 pound uh, option. The second item that you have to worry about is nicotine and she likes to go with Heartland Vapes. Um, Heartland Vapes has all this ultra premium Nic. Um, this is a 100 milligram strength, 120 mil bottle and this is potent. Only get this if you are experienced DIYer. Um, you've used pre, uh, pre-nicked uh, VG before um, or ready to take the next step. Um, vape with me, uh, Rochelle, she uses this and what she does is she dumps this entire bottle into a one gallon bottle of VG, mixes it thoroughly and then it comes out right around three uh, milligram strength. Uh, so that's an option that you can go with. Um, just I would make sure that you get the BG based if you're going to mix it with your BG um, gallon to get that strength. Now, if you do not want to mess with 100 milligram strength nicotine, you can always go with the nicotine solution. Uh, three milligram, a liter of it would be $20. They have other sizes. This is where it already comes nicked up for you in the bottle. Um, I would select like here, the 100% vegetable glycerin. Um, that way you're getting VG with three milligram strength throughout. Make sure when you're using this to shake it up thoroughly every time that you use it. But the great thing about this is you don't have to worry about nicotine. You can just add the solution to your concentrate and you can shake it up and it's, it's all done. So those are the ingredients that... Um, that she prefers and she uses so I'll put those links in the description and uh, we'll go ahead and move back to your recipe okay so you have your BG you have your nicotine you have your concentrate from Adore e-liquid and you want to make that delicious simple apple roll well let's go ahead and show you how it's done uh, I'm taking you to e-liquid-recipes.com an excellent recipe site for DIYers and this link for this recipe is published under my name publicly so you can manipulate this data the link for this recipe will be down below in the description now as I have it set up for my default I like to use an entire 30 mil bottle which will make a hundred and eighty milliliters of simple apple roll all mixed up now I have a default of three milligrams strength for my nicotine and you can manipulate that if you wish. Now let's say you don't want to make 180 mils at a time. I understand. Maybe you only have 30 mil bottles available and you want to make up a 30 mil bottle. We can do that 
All we have to do is go up to this blue wrench icon, click on it, and click Adapt This in the drop down box. Once you do this, it opens up all the boxes so you can manipulate your recipe. Now, on default, it will set the milliliter amount to 100. But let's say you want to do that for 30 milliliters. So just change that in there. Click outside of it, and it changes all your amounts down here to 30 milliliters total. Um, by default, it's going to change it to 2, mil, two milligram strength nicotine. You can crank that to whatever you want. You can drop it down to whatever you want. Let's just set it at 3 right now for, for our purposes. Now, click outside of it around here. Do not click around in this area. If you click in this area, it will turn, turn into a clickable area, and that max VG box will become unchecked. It will default to 7030. We want max VG because the 17% simple apple roll concentrate is all the PG you're going to need in this recipe. Now, as we go down here, you can see all the amounts have changed. We have our simple apple roll at 5.1 milliliters if you're going by, by syringe, or if you're going by weight, 5.1 grams of concentrate. Now, with the nicotine, this 100 milligram nicotine, 100% BG, this is the first option that we talked about earlier in the video where you're using that 100 milligram strength. Now, what if you bought the premix? Well, I'm going to show you how we can change that. So, this VG, if you're using the first option, you would add 0.9 milliliters of nicotine or 1.13 grams of nicotine and 24 milliliters of VG or 30.27 grams of VG. Now, if you did grab the second option, the premix, all you need to do is come back up here, change this down to zero, click outside of it again, and it's adapted. So all you would do is add your 5.1 milliliters of simple apple roll concentrate and also 24.9 milliliters or 31.4 grams of your premix VG. Same thing goes along if you're using this at zero milligram strength. Once again, anything that you change up here will reflect in the recipe down here. Now, grab all your ingredients, get them measured out, put them in your bottle, shake them up, shake them for a great, uh, you know, one and a half, two min minutes until you see all those bubbles all along your solution. And then all we have to do is wait. Suggested sieve time, 14 days. And we say that kind of a minimum. Um, 21 days is better. If you longer you can let this sit, it gets better and better. Now the recipe is made with a 30 ml bottle of simple apple roll uh, flavor concentrate from Adori Liquid, which can be found at this link. If you need direct links, that will be in the description as well. And as I stated, the preferred percentage is 17%. Now if you want to go higher on the percentage, you're going to get less uh, less milliliters available in this mix. If you want it lower percentage, maybe it's too strong for you, you can change that. You can take it down to say 15% and you'll get even more uh, more usage out of your concentrate. Now, the big thing to remember is that when you're steeping this, what you're going to do during that 14 to 21 days is you are going to shake the bottle and then you're going to take the cap off and let that bottle breathe for 30 minutes. Do that each day. When it gets to that 14 to 21 days, whatever you want to let it steep to, it's going to be delicious and ready for you. Now, this site is totally available. Like I said, I'll put the link down in the description for where you can uh, you, you can manipulate this data. And if you do have any questions, feel free to put notes in the comments down below. I do monitor these DIY videos for any type of questions that I can help you with, I will respond as promptly as I can. Um, that's basically it. If you do like this content, please click that thumbs up. If you want to see more DIY videos, um, I do have these all in a single playlist. Every recipe that Dawn from Adore puts out in concentrate form, there is a DIY video from myself. So. I like to thank you for watching. I wish you the best with your venture into DIY using concentrates. And remember, life is fucking awesome as long as you're not smoking. And until next time, you have a great one.